Devarim, Deuteronomy 4. Now therefore hearken, O Yashara'el, unto the statutes and unto the judgments which I teach you, for to do them, that ye may live, and go in and possess at the land which Yahuwah Elohai of your fathers gives you. Ye shall not add unto the word which I command you, neither shall ye diminish aught from it, that ye may guard at the commandments of Yahuwah Elohechem, which I command you. Your eyes have seen at what Yahuwah did because of Baal Peor. For all the men that followed Baal Peor, Yahuwah Elohecha has destroyed them from among you. But ye that did cleave unto Yahuwah Elohechem are alive, every one of you this day. Behold, I have taught you commandments and judgments even as Yahuwah Elohai commanded me that ye should do so in the land whither ye go to possess it. Guard, therefore, and do them. For this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, which shall hear at all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. For what nation is there so great? Who has Elohim so nigh unto them? As Yahuwah Eloheinu is in all things that we call upon him for. And what nation is there so great that has commandments and judgments so righteous as all this Torah, which I set before you this day. Only take heed to yourself and guard your soul diligently, lest you forget at the things which your eyes have seen, and lest they depart from your heart all the days of your life. But teach them your sons, and your sons' sons, especially the day that you stood before Yahuwah Eloheka in Korev, when Yahuwah said unto me, Gather me at the people together, and I will make them hear at my words, that they may learn to fear me all the days that they shall live upon the earth and that they may teach at their children. And ye came near and stood under the mountain, and the mountain burned with fire unto the midst of heaven, with darkness, clouds, and thick darkness. And Yahuwah spoke unto you out of the midst of the fire. Ye heard the voice of the words, but saw no similitude, only ye heard a voice. And he declared unto you at his covenant, which he commanded you to perform even ten devarim. And he wrote them upon two sapphire stones. And Yahuwah commanded me at that time to teach you commandments and judgments that ye might do them in the land whither ye go over to possess it. Take ye therefore good heed unto yourselves, for ye saw no manner of similitude on the day that Yahuwah spoke unto you in Korev, out of the midst of the fire. Lest ye corrupt yourselves and make you a graven image the similitude of any figure, the likeness of male or female, the likeness of any beast that is on the earth, 
the likeness of any winged fowl that flies in the air, the likeness of anything that creeps on the ground, the likeness of any fish that is in the waters beneath the earth. And lest you lift up your eyes unto the heavens, and when you see at the sun, and at the moon, and at the stars, even all the host of heaven should be driven to worship them and serve them, which Yahuwah Eloheka has divided unto all nations under the whole heaven. But Yahuwah has taken you and brought you forth out of the iron furnace, even out of Mitzrayim, to be unto him a people of inheritance, as ye are this day. <clears throat> Furthermore, Yahuwah was angry with me for your sakes and swore that I should not go over at the Yardin and that I should not go in unto that good land which Yahuwah Eloheka gives you for an inheritance. But I must die in this land. I must not go over at the Yardin, but ye shall go over and possess at that good land. Take heed unto yourselves, lest ye forget at the covenant of Yahuwah Elohechem, which he cut with you, and make you a graven image or the likeness of anything which Yahuwah Elohecha has forbidden you. For Yahuwah Elohecha is a consuming fire, even a jealous El. When you shall beget children and children's children, and ye shall have remained long in the land, and shall corrupt yourselves and make a graven image or the likeness of anything, and shall do evil in the sight of Yahuwah Eloheka, to provoke him to anger. I call at the heavens and at the earth to witness against you this day, that ye shall soon utterly perish from off the land, whereunto ye go over at the Yardan to possess it. Ye shall not prolong your days upon it, but shall utterly be destroyed. And Yahuwah shall scatter you among the nations, and ye shall be left few in number among the heathen, whither Yahuwah shall lead you. And there ye shall serve Elohim, the work of men's hands, wood and stone, which neither see nor hear nor eat nor smell, but if from thence you shall seek at Yahuwah Eloheka, you shall find him if you seek him with all your heart and with all your soul. When you are in tribulation and all these things are come upon you, even in the latter days, if you turn to Yahuwah Eloheka, and shall be obedient unto his voice. For Yahuwah Eloheka is a merciful El. He will not forsake you, neither destroy you, nor forget at the covenant of your fathers, which he swore unto them. For ask now of the days that are past, which were before you, since the day that Elohim created man upon the earth and ask from the one side of heaven unto the other whether there has been any such thing as this great thing is or has been heard like it. Did ever people hear the voice of Elohim speaking out of the midst of the fire as you have heard and live? Or has Elohim assayed to go and take him a nation from the midst of another nation by temptations 
by signs and by wonders and by war and by a mighty hand and by a stretched out arm and by great terrors, according to all that Yahuwah Elohechem did for you in Mitzrayim before your eyes? Unto you it was showed that you might know that Yahuwah is Elohim. There is none else beside him. Out of heaven he made you to hear at his voice that he might instruct you. And upon earth he showed you at his great fire. And you heard his words out of the midst of the fire. And because he loved at your fathers, therefore he chose their seed after them and brought you out in his sight with his mighty power out of Mitzrayim to drive out nations from before you greater and mightier than you are to bring you in, to give you at their land for an inheritance, as it is this day. And now, therefore, this day, rather, know, therefore, this day, and consider it in your heart that Yahuwah, He is Elohim, in heaven above and upon the earth beneath. There is none else. You shall guard, therefore, at his statutes and at his commandments, which I command you this day, that it may go well with you and with your children after you, and that you may prolong your days upon the earth, which Yahuwah Eloheka gives you forever. Then Moshe severed three cities on this side of the Yardin toward the sun rising that the slayer might flee thither which should kill at his neighbor unawares and hated him not in times past and that fleeing unto one of these cities he might live namely at Betzer in the wilderness in the plain country of the Reuvianim and at Ramoth in Gilad of the Gadim and at Golan in Bashan of the Menashim. And this is the Torah which Moshe set before the children of Yashara'el. These are the testimonies and the statutes and the judgments which Moshe spoke unto the children of Yashara'el after they came forth out of Mitzrayim on this side of the Yadan, in the valley over against Be'at Peor in the land of Sikon, king of the Emorim who dwelt at Chazban whom Moshe and the children of Yashara'el smote after they were come forth out of Mitzrayim and they possessed at his land and at the land of Og, king of Bashan, two kings of the Emorim, which were on this side of the Yardin toward the sun rising. From Aror Er, rather, from Ero Er, which is by the bank of the river Arnon, even unto Mount Sihon, rather, Sion, which is Cherman, and all the plain on this side of the Yardan, eastward, even unto the sea of the plain, under the springs of Pik ah. 